What's up everybody? It is recycling event day. Me and Pops got our trucks pulled up over here. We're a little early, which uh, which is good. We wanted to get an early start today. They have not uh, started getting people coming in yet. So we're just hanging out. Figured I'd show y'all real quick what the setup is. Here's, uh, here's some old electronics I actually threw away. But yeah, they got these Gaylord boxes stacked up here and we'll be filling them up with electronics as people donate. And if there's anything good for reselling, me and my dad will grab it as well as like flat screen TVs for my dad and stuff. Appreciate it. Just a quick note, uh, we actually can't pick up any computers or anything with hard drives just to keep people's personal information safe. So that's why you see me grabbing the laptop chargers but then throwing away the laptops. <laughs> and then I completely forget to grab the laptop chargers. <laughs> but we're getting off to a good start. There's number one. Oh, I put them in the thing. I don't know. They seemed old. I grabbed the chargers. Yeah, what was it you were looking for? Oh, yeah, you need the cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take some pictures off of these trees. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, give me that. They threw it and busted. They threw the whole box in here and everything. Low on the gala stuff. Are they? Is that what he said? Yeah. What are you trying to look at? Those are direct TV boxes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I didn't look at them. Someone pulled something off of it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll take that. Appreciate it. Phillips. Home theater. Here. Here, I'll take that. Thank you. No problem. Uh, put them in this box down here. The one they're standing there. Yeah, this one right here. Is that a printer? printer. Yeah. They go down there in that box. I got it though. It's all good. Um, 
any one of those boxes down there. Okay. There we go. Hey, do you find out that a lot of, a lot of folks that they just want to upgrade the old one so good? But... Got the thing on it. Samsung. Samsung. Okay. You want to take it out the box or leave it in there? I can leave it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we Guys, is there anything y'all can use on those uh, Here, you can put it on there. I'll take it if I end up. I'll check it out. You know, those, uh, right. Vacuum cleaners. vacuum cleaners, yeah. Trying to get this out? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll look at that. Appreciate it. There's a new one. Penner! Keyboard! Good job. Got it? Here, I'll take it. Okay. HDTV, we got Dish Network stuff. These remotes are good. If they're good, that don't look good. No. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have touched that. Okay. There's a TV over there they just brought up. Big one, huh? Like rear, right? Eh? Yeah, I think so. Gotcha. Got some speakers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me get all that right there. You got it? I think so. If it falls, it'll be all right. Appreciate it, man. Grab that router in the box. All right, cool. Yep. What kind you got there? Gotcha. Awesome. I can't see it. Best Buy, I don't know. Toshiba, you want it? Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, here, I'll take it. We do not want this one though, right here, Gary. Okay. Thank you, sir. And what's your name, what's your name again? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Jack Jeffrey. Jack and Jeff, yep. <laughs> Hey, I'll take that. Appreciate it. Oh, stuck to it. Take those. I think I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna 
these. I'll take those two as well. Appreciate it. Let me see that. Is it AT&T? Yeah. Usually AT&T, like, it's one of that funky yellow, you know? Right. Mm. 60 yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's that nicotine on. yellow. Cool. Missing piece. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's it's fine. Yeah. He's got the gun. Oh. Look at that direct TV remote. Yeah, give me this one too if I can get it. Yeah. I got backup parts and stuff too, anyways. Couple car stereos. Here, I'll take a look at them. Mm. Nah, I don't want those. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, this thing's junk. Windows Vista. That's way before your time. <laughs> Big old one, huh? And the model number is what? Uh, UN 65. 65. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, for a wheelchair, back oh. right battery forward. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, we'll take it. Vizio? Here, I'll grab it. Vizio, Appreciate it. $3. <laughs> know it's in this box. What is it? Oh, that is? Oh, yeah, I want this. Damn, is this brand new? Where'd this come from? I think this goes to my... Over here. Those things should be worth some. I've sold that Sonos stuff before. Uh-huh. I want that. I didn't know it went. Oh, no, you're fine. I want just the stand, though. <laughs> what do you want to put? What's that? Uh, you know what? Here, I'll take those. Okay. Appreciate it, man. I just want this Panasonic. I don't want that Samsung. It looks old and dirty. We'll start loading them up or? Yeah. Yeah. You got this tub. Forget about it. All right, let's roll out. So it's uh, been a couple days since the recycling event, which has given me some time to uh, go through everything. I've already got a lot of it tested and uh, we've even already got some sales. The first things I like to get listed is of course the most expensive stuff, at least what I assume to be the most expensive. And for me, that's the DVD players, VCR players, uh, the combo players. And uh, we've literally almost sold every single one we pulled out of the recycling event that was in working condition. So out of, I believe 12 of them that we pulled out, eight of them were in good working condition. And that's a much smaller number than the last recycling event, which was back in, I think, October, which was right after the quarantine. So a lot of people had a lot of time to uh, do some spring cleaning and stuff at home. And I think that's why there were so many VCRs and stuff like that donated uh, in that last time. If you didn't see that video, we got, I believe it was 74 VCR, uh, DVD player combos, cassette players, stereo receivers, things like that. And uh, I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to go check that video out. But we were still able to pull lots of stuff to resell out of this event. And uh, surprisingly, we had a lot more computer monitors than anything else. Um, but we'll get to that later. First, let's go over a few sales. The first sale we had was this um, Allegro by Zenith VCR that sold for $49.77 with free shipping. The next one was this uh, Quasar, I believe it's how you say it, um, VCR. It did have the remote, uh, picked that out of the recycling event, threw some AV cables with it. And and uh, we were able to get it sold for $65.77 with free shipping. The next one is one of the Magnavox uh, DVD VCR combo players that we pulled out of it. It did have a remote to go with it and uh, I was able to throw a blank tape and some AV cables with it. Um, had it listed for around $120 but took a best offer of $110 with free shipping. We also sold the other Magnavox uh, DVD VCR combo player. I actually had a remote to go with this one. It didn't come with one at the recycling event. Um, also threw another blank tape and AV cables to bundle together with it and got full asking price on this one $119.77 with free shipping and then there was this Magnavox DVD recorder it did not have a remote or anything else with it so I just listed it by itself and we got it sold for $85 with free shipping and the last thing that we've already sold from the recycling event is one of the wheelchair uh, chargers I did get both of them tested they seem to be in good working condition um, the one that I sold was a little bit in rougher condition it had a few dents so I listed it for $65.77 uh, with free shipping and it sold for full asking price. Um, the other one I still have listed and it was in much better condition so it's currently listed for $75 and uh, should be selling pretty soon. If not, I'll just bump that price down and uh, I'm sure it'll fly off the shelf. So now that we've gone over everything that's already sold, let me show you everything else we got and uh, how much it's worth. Starting with the uh, Atari 
uh, computer parts, gaming parts or whatnot. We've got an Atari 850 console and this one is a Atari 800. Um, there's two controllers and a couple power cords and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to clean these up and test them, but just for parts or repair, uh, this one sells for around $40, and then this one sells for around $60. So even if they don't work, we should be able to make some money on these. Then here's a few small electronic things. We got this Emerson alarm clock and whatnot. Sells for about 20 bucks. We got this first alert device down here. It sells for around $18. Um, here's this Midland. This is like one of those weather report uh, alarm and radio type things it sells for around twenty dollars got a few vcr remotes that um haven't looked up the comps on those i'll most likely just save them just in case i find the vcr to match with it this polaroid camera it sells for around twenty twenty five dollars as well um, we got some computer speakers in here. Uh, there's these Harman Kardon ones, and then there's some Alltech Lansing computer speakers too over here. They both sell for around $25 a piece. There is an electric blanket uh, warmer in here, or the Sunbeam controller for it. Um, that sells for around $22 pre-owned on eBay. And then we've got two Amazon Kindles. Uh, one of them sells for about 30, the other one for about 40. If they're in good working condition, I still have to test those. And then there's a few laptop chargers and I think some printer chargers in here. And all of those are selling for about around 15 to 20 bucks a piece. Oh yeah, here's some more um, laptop chargers in here as well as some power cords. Same thing, they're selling for around 20 bucks. Not the power cords, the laptop chargers, of course. This Minolta camera, pretty good comps on it if it's in good working condition. I believe it is. I still just need to do a little bit testing, but it is selling for around $60 pre-owned. Then there's this AT&T phone right under here. Um, comps on it are around $30 pre-owned. We got this Sony Discman. This thing's selling for around $25 pre-owned. Um, this Nintendo, same thing with the other Atari parts. I haven't tested it yet. And just for parts or repair, they're selling on eBay for around $45, so still should be making some money on that. The rest of this are just power cords that are going to uh, all the computer monitors that I pulled out of the recycling event, but uh, we will get to that in just a second. Next thing we got here is this uh, router. It's brand new in the box. Um, comps on it are for around $20, not too bad. Um, another gaming console, this is the Xbox 360. Same thing with the other ones. Haven't tested it yet fully, uh, but just for parts or repair, it's selling for around $40, so no biggie. And then the other things in here are these Regent speakers. This is like for a um, home entertainment system, you know, nice surround sound system. And these are selling pre-owned for around $70, so nice find there. And so now to the computer monitors, we actually have seven Dell, um, I think these are the 19 or 20 inch uh, flat panel computer monitors and then okay I think those are the 20 inch so these must be the 19 we got four 20 inch uh, flat panel monitors um, these are selling for around 50 to 55 dollars a piece pre-owned with no stand uh, just the power cord and same thing for these no uh, stand just the power cord going with them selling for around 55 to 60 dollars on those as well um, some of these stands actually do fit these, but I'm just going to sell them separately. I can sell these stands from anywhere from about $25 up to uh, $45. There's about three different kinds in there, three different sizes, but they're all for Dell monitors. And then there's a few more I have over here. These actually have the stands attached to them, and I'm going to go ahead and sell them that way because that's just how most comps are. These two are the exact same models, and they sell for around $75 pre-owned. This one is only going for around $50 pre-owned, and I'll go ahead and leave this stand with that one as well um it's a lot different than the other ones i got so either way i'm just going to sell that one as it is for 50 dollars. then we have these two radios there was another car radio but it was actually some of the buttons were busted up i didn't notice that or else i would have just left it there in the first place um but this saturn radio is selling for around 45 dollars, and then the honda radio is selling for around 65 dollars. so good comps there and yes the last but not least uh, the JVC VCR. This thing is brand new. Never been used. I can't believe this got donated. I did take it out. It's got a nice gold color to it. Uh, but man, it's so obviously never been used. I tested it. It works great. It's got the remote, the manual, um, a few other little odds and end things. But uh, yeah, right now, currently, I've got it on auction and it is up to 39 watchers. 
uh, which is insane. And then the current bid is at $79 plus about $29 shipping. So that's going to end this coming Sunday. And uh, I'm really excited to see how much this is going to sell for. But that is everything. Um, if you did see the last haul, like I said, it was much bigger than this one, but it came right after that quarantine. I think everyone just had a lot of time to do some spring cleaning. And um, that was the uh, biggest event or the biggest, what should I say? Like the most numbers, most donations and people recycling stuff that uh, Wash Tall Girl the organization that runs it has ever seen so I didn't expect that we would get that again this year and we still came out with uh, really great numbers a full truckload of it so you can't get any better than that but that's gonna be it for this one y'all make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it also consider subscribing I really appreciate everyone who continues to watch my videos and support the channel so until next time keep flipping